Now, the rest of these questions are gun control. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go through, and the people that haven't spoken, uh, Pat Neary from South Windsor, Connecticut, do you have any specific gun control questions or have your questions, has your questions been answered? to see what they were doing in, you know, Colorado or, so she was scrambling and she, as far as I know, they're still scrambling. They don't have all the answers to these questions even, even now. So it was very poorly done and it was a political document, uh, not, not one that, in my opinion, was meant to, to do what it was supposed to do. It was, to, it was, a, it was an emotional response to a very bad, bad uh, tragedy, no doubt. And the other thing I'm, that everything you said I agree with, but I think one of the worst mistakes we make is we don't enforce the laws that we have. And I know a report was done in Connecticut. It was like 90% of people who are arrested for a gun uh, violation, that gun violation is dropped and they accept a lesser yeah. charge. So the people who are apt to create um, gun violence situations, they're not being put in jail and they're not being um, penalized they're being charged with a much lesser crime. And I think if we would just enforce the laws we had against the people who are committing crimes, we could, we would be in a better place. We had a debate uh, in the House, I don't know if you saw it, uh, Tony, but we had a debate where um, we have higher elevated penalties for people that 
are dealing drugs close to schools. Yeah. And because um, I think the present law is 1,500 feet, yeah. and the proposed law was to reduce it yeah. to 250 feet. So we were, the Republicans were basically saying, why are we trying to reduce this? And the basic argument was that the, the law, as it was presently structured, was too good at catching people. And so it was it just perverse, perverse logic, and that's some of what we have to face. So um, the, it's a very odd place sometimes. <laughs> we had a debate years ago about crystal meth as opposed to there's two different kinds yeah. of. Well, not crystal meth. It's the. Uh, yeah. Is it? Well, anyway, there's two different. It's crystal meth. There, there's two different substances. Uh, and one of them sold more in the ghetto than, than it sold in suburban areas. So somehow the penalty was more for the type that was sold in the inner city areas than in the suburban area. So I said, oh, okay. Well, then let's make the penalty more in the suburban area. So then it's all fair. But no, they reduced it in the urban areas. I mean, that's the kind of logic. Right? So why would you make it equal by making the penalty harsher? Why would you make it equal by re by reducing the penalty? But that's the kind of stuff that happens up there. I know. I know. It makes you breaking your eye. Sir, can I make one comment? Make these barracks proposals. Um, can I get to the person who hasn't done it? We still have uh, about half an hour, so I think I think we'll be good. Mr. Gun Control issues again. Barney, you had a comment you wanted to make, and then I'm going to. Yeah, to the yeah, yeah, I have a comment. That, that smurf form, like we call it, the truth is called it, the smurf form outside. Yeah. Uh, I worked with Danny Stevens years ago. He's a nice guy, but I, I think he's way off base mm -hmm. in this. But him to close any truth, I, I just think it's irresponsible to the citizens here. And, and being at that truth for a number of years, people literally ran in the door with somebody running behind them. Yeah. And we ended up fighting out in the party a number of times. When they run in the door now, they're going to be in a lot of trouble because nobody's going to be there to help them. And I, I, that's why I find it disgraceful. If, if, if you're going to close the barracks, you might as well love it and get everybody away from it because that's a safe haven for people. Believe it or not, it's always has been for people looking, you know. Uh, I, I just can't figure the reason, rhyme and reason for this. And like you said, we had dispatches that would know people in, yeah, they, sent you, they, they sent you there, and you know you're going to be in a tussle with them, but these other people, they don't know it, and somebody's going to get hurt. Not only the trooper, you might use more excessive force than the asshole, because they're going to back up, and then it's going to say, well, they shot an innocent man. So I think it's just going to cost us some money in the end. Well, I think we got so far off our core mission, you know, as a, as a state. Uh, we should be doing three or four things, public safety, public education, public health, it's an infrastructure. We shouldn't be giving out large amounts of money to corporations. We shouldn't be building a busway in an OER. Yeah. I mean, that is infrastructure, but there's nobody I, I, I talked about who thinks that's a good idea. Uh, and thank you for your support for, you know, raising that question about that issue. I think it's important that the legislators get the attention. Right. You're going to get a lot of mail on it. As the time goes by, it's going to get worse and worse. Oh, I agree. Well, I the rest of the state, I know a few guys out there, they're telling me it's coming back.